Welcome to part three of this eight part series. In this uh, section, we're going to be removing the alternator, uh, the alternator bracket. We're going to take out some wiring, get it out of the way, unbolt the power steering pump and move it out of the way, unbolt the fuel rail, pry it up and get it out of the way, and then take off the crossover water pipe and hose that sit on top of the um, upper intake. Okay, we're getting closer. So, with our front bolt separated now from the um, upper manifold, we can loosen our rear bolts. And about the only thing you can get on here, at least in the far back one, you might be able to get a socket on here, but I'm just using a 15 millimeter box end. And in the back, you know, you're going to have to get back in here, both hands, seat it on there, and turn that other longer one out. That's in the left, that's on the left side as we're looking at it. So that's a matter of getting back behind here, kind of with the left hand, finding the nut, finding the bolt, getting a wrench on it. This back one winds up butting right up against the firewall. So once you've got it out, you're going to leave it in the, actually in the alternator. Leave it in the long slot that it'll fit into. There it's out. In this front one, I'll turn out the rest of the way. And we can pull this one out. Now we'll just take our holding bolt off here. And we can now take the alternator. On out. Okay, next we're going to take out the alternator bracket here. There's a couple of uh, 15 millimeter bolts here. One's right down below this idler wheel here. Do that one first. Looks like they're finger finger loose. Okay, right, there's another 15 millimeter down here. That you got to take loose too. Busted it. And then the final one is the actual bolt in the center of the upper part of the tensioner. So there's a total of four. Okay, so now I've got the alternator bracket middle. Make sure you mark them, they're different lengths. Like a lower, middle, and a back. So here we are now with the final bolt tensioner. There's a bracket here. So you can see that this kind of mounts behind. It's a separate mount. It's an engine lift bracket, so I'm going to lift this up and out. So here's the bracket, engine mount bracket, or uh, alternator bracket. You can see this lift one right here underneath there. Lines up with the three holes. Tensioner goes in here. Tensioner's got a little guide hole in it. Okay, let's disconnect a couple more connectors. This one's got a little piece that has to pull up. It's kind of a lock. And then there's this one. Hmm. This one doesn't. There it goes. Squeeze and pull. Yeah, let's take that out the rest of the way. Because this is going to kind of come with the fuel rail. This is the fuel rail connector here. This other water pump is going to have to come out of there. There's a bolt underneath here for the um, lower manifold. That's going to be virtually impossible to get out with that pump in place. And these bolts are accessed through the holes. This is the holes in the uh, sprocket and the pulley here. So you just line them up and you can feel behind there where the bolt is. And it feels like about a 13 millimeter. And we're going to just pull those three out. So I'm just using a deep well in here. Actually these aren't super torqued up. Just spin it then to you find the next one. And we're on that one. And there it is, out of the power steering pump. There's one, then we'll just rotate it and get the next one. And there comes the last one. So now, with the flexibility and the lines, we can set this off over here. Now you can see how impossible this was going to be to do. There's another one. There's another one of the mounting bolts over there. Okay, now we're going to get these two rail mounting bolts. Take it 
10 millimeter, of course. Okay, relieve fuel pressure. And we're going behind the uh, steering, the pump here, and you can see the uh, there's a little plastic cap on the end of the rail. So remove that. Okay, so right in the middle of this thing, there's a little release ball. So you gotta push this, get a small Allen wrench or something like that. Now you can see a little fuel, just to spray a fuel out of there as I did that. And fuel pressure's relieved. So there's a little fuel rail connector down here. 10, 10 millimeter. The idea here is that we're going to lift this fuel rail assembly up and um, not disconnect couplers right here just to save us from one last thing that we have to fuss with here. We have enough. Okay, we're going to the screwdriver now and gently pry up on this fuel rail to get it to pop out. There. Okay, it's got all but one of them. Trouble around this corner here. There. Okay. Okay, keeping us now from pulling is so. Um, fuel rail all the way out is this little plug down here. I think it's a temperature sensor, like the water outlet. So we're just going to lift that up and out. And now you can lift this entire assembly, twist it a little and set it up, set it up here against the, uh, the front. Okay, so now we're going to need to get this water hose piping that runs across the top of the lower manifold out of the way and here we have a little uh, eight millimeter bracket holding it now this uh, water pipe runs butts right up against this valve cover this front valve cover here and all the way along and of course, this is the same one that we, you know, had to get the uh, two little water hoses out from under the throttle body. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get this whole piece out of here. The simplest way. What I think I'm going to try to do is take this little screw bolt off here, eight millimeter, and then see if we can loosen this thing up and at least get it out of the way. Well, that was easy enough to pull out. It's a matter of pulling it loose from there and then we'll decide what we can More just not wanting to get stranded somewhere. You know, if you're driving the grocery store or something. Okay. We're going to heat this up with a blow dryer because this is so old and cracked. It'll come off like magic then. Yeah, 
there. About a minute of blow drying. Looks wonders. And so now we can lift this up. And set it over this way. Okay, so this is proven to be really stubborn here. I've tapped on it with a hammer. I'm actually trying to turn it. Um, I'm going to set some, put some penetrating fluid on there. I'm going to let that sit for a while and see if we can get it out of here with no harm. Okay, so this is now turning. I can get it to turn and it's coming off grudgingly. What I found worked was getting a help in getting vice grips around here and then kind of rocking it. Wow. Okay, that concludes part three. Uh, in a preview of part four, uh, we're going to be removing the valve covers on both of them. Um, and then there's some uh, water piping and hoses. The upper radiator hose has to be disconnected and then the, uh, another pipe coming out of the water outlet will come out. And then we can take the eight bolts that hold down the upper manifold out and remove it. We'll also take care of the push rods and removing the old gaskets in episode four.